Uh, clearly with, uh, with the Southern Rail Project and other things going around Central Florida, so much of what we do in Orlando is clearly affecting you all uh, here in Polk County. Uh, and clearly along the I-4 corridor uh, from, from coast to coast uh, is so important politically for both parties, really, and I think both parties realize that. Uh, that regardless of whether it's Orlando or Polk County or going right up down Tampa and St. Pete, um, everybody in this region is uh, so important to uh, the future of Florida uh, and really will probably determine you know, the next leader of the United States. Uh, you know, 2008, that wasn't necessarily the case when, when Obama managed to win other states, but I think everybody agrees that the political map has changed to such an extent that really the I-4 corridor along uh, Florida in Florida is going to be probably the most, polit the most important political uh, area in the nation. So goes I-4, so goes Florida, so goes Florida, so goes the White House in 2012. So, uh, I'm going to just speak for a few minutes and then open up the floor for, for Q&A. I'm much more of a question and answer person than probably a speech person. Uh, but I'm going to open up the floor for questions and answers. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll start with you. Uh, you know, one of the things that I've been thinking about is, you know, what is the future of the Florida Transportation Authority? Uh, and I'm sure you've heard the redistricting session that we'll all see uh, this year, that, therefore sessions moved up. So by the way, if you've got anything, if you're involved in any organization or your business or anything and has anything in front of the legislature, know that you've got a much shorter timeline this year uh, and things are certainly already moving in Tallahassee, uh, moving that session up two months. So, uh, and then we, we have redistricting. Now with uh, term limits, uh, basically nobody in the House has ever been through redistricting. You'll find a few in the Senate. Uh, that have been through redistricting. So for all of us in the House, it's a brand new uh, process. And clearly with Amendment 5 and 6, I think it'll be a really whole new process for most people. So what's amazing about term limits, by the way, is there are problems. I will be, I'm in my, into my third term. I'm ready for re-election going into my fourth term, my fourth and final term. The number of House people that have more experience than me, which by the way, I'm, again, I'm going into my sixth session, uh, the number of house people that are in front of me is about 15. I always lose track, lose track because by this time they're coming and going and getting appointed and trying to get out of the legislature going down to the county commission and all this stuff. So it's somewhere between 14 and 16 members in that last class. The number of fresh members that we had this year uh, was over 40. So literally one third of the house, one third of your decision making body in the lower chamber uh, are brand new. And we see that almost every election cycle. So term limits have really uh, reduced the amount of experience that you have up in Tallahassee. And I'm always fascinated by people who go, you know, very strongly stand on the, uh, well, I don't want to, you know, this career politician. But we are running basically a $70 billion budget. A $70 billion budget up in Tallahassee. And uh, you have to question whether, you know, if you go to the doctor, do you want somebody who has some experience, or do you, do you just want the janitor that happens to be in the hallway uh, to come and do brain surgery? Uh, and, and, Sometimes we see this in Tallahassee. What has happened in Tallahassee is that, uh, is that the staff have so much more power. So if you ever go up to Tallahassee, by the way, just, just don't even pay attention to the elections. Republican or Democrat, don't let them pitch it. And you can really the staff members where all this power in our lives. These are the people that have been up there for 15 and 20, 25 years uh, that know not only process, but especially budget-wise, know what's really deep down in the, 